Hi, my name is Matt and I'm with Advanced Test Equipment Rentals. Today what we're going to show you is how to adjust your output on a laser micrometer so you don't fill up your buffer with data points. So what we're going to do is adjust the speed of the output to make it slower so that every single time it gives you a data point, it takes longer to give you a data point, but you get more averages, therefore you're more accurate. Okay, so in order to conduct this test, what we're going to do is we're going to go to the measuring button. The measuring button is at the top right section. You can see it, it's a symbol of a cylinder surrounded by the lasers going across it. So we're going to click on that. Then you're going to see a menu here with type, averaging, and custom. What you want is averaging. The part to pay attention to is the top portion, the averaging period. You're going to have two different menu buttons. So you're going to have scans or seconds. We want seconds. Seconds almost always will allow you to easily manipulate the data to have less data points outputting rather than more data points inputting, which would increase your buffer, which would decrease your buffering time. So we're going to change this over to two seconds to start with. Hit OK. Hit OK again. And now we're going to start our test. Top right, hit go. So the standard we have in here is a 365. You can see 36517 on the size and the average. You can see the count every two seconds is going up. I'll stop this around 10 or so. Okay, now we're actually going to run the same test. Let's clear the data first. We're going to run the same test except we're going to go back into the measurement. We're going to go back to averaging. We're going to stay in seconds. We're going to change this to 1. So now it's going to take a measurement every 1 second. Hit OK, hit OK again. And we're going to start it again. Part to pay attention to here is going to be the count. So now the count is moving twice as fast. And stop this at about 20. Okay, now, okay, that is how you change your output in order to not fill up your buffer so fast. Thank you so much for watching this video. As the non destructive testing product manager, I'd like to invite you to visit us at our website at www.atechcorp.com. That's www.atecorp.com. Thank you so much.